Just like a deer headlight right there. Yeah. Well, I have noticed that I'm always looking at the. So I figured. You have I would, noticed? Does that mean that you go back and look at? No, I notice. Oh, I notice okay. when I'm doing it, and and let's, let's do the banter now, and we don't know if we have any audio. Okay. I, okay. Not that we have any banter. You're all no, out, aren't you? I'm all out. Yeah. You're all out. I've got a big shipment coming in though. When's that due? Oh, you'll, you'll okay. notice. Apparently, we have you'll audio. Know. Shall I put Do Not Disturb on my phone, or yes, you shall. should we just leave surprises? Me too. Yeah, right. right. Did you, your phone is on Do Not Disturb? It, it's always on D&D. &D. <laughs> is it always? Yeah. I'm going to push the, the... You push whatever uh, buttons you want to okay. push. Okay, yeah. that's what I'll do. Not the outro, the intro. Intro. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 51 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, March 13th already, 2024, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, the mayor of Meatville, but he's wearing green today, Luke I Jacobs. Thought, I thought you'd maybe come up with something... More no, no, you like that one so much, oh, I can't okay. change it. You'd have to get a promotion of something, sure. a What's president that? or something. Promotion. This hat is very large. It is. And, and I have a big head. <laughs> Just gonna Did let that go. Did you stretch it out? Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, welcome to Butcher Shop Television. Yes. Uh, I'll tell everybody what we're gonna do today. Why don't you do that? Uh, we're gonna go over our location. And then we have a special guest, the one we've been talking about. And we're going to do that right up after our location somewhere okay. so that he can go back to work. Right. It's Todd. Todd has to go back to work. We'll go over the news, the meat market mailer, the weekly specials. We didn't have time to talk about new products. Do you have anything in the last minute? Uh, you can no. think about it. Uh, <laughs> a special upcoming days. Thanks for letting me think winner, about it. Winner. <laughs> well, while I'm talking, a winner okay. of last week's contest. Are we going to do a new contest this week? Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. Let's dive right in. Luke, for anyone who may not know, Please tell us they where we are. They should know by now. They should know. But no, we, we have right. new viewers every week. We do. Every week. Yes. So where are we? Do we pay for those viewers? Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, we are at Jacob's Meat Market, halfway between College of Wisconsin and beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. Beautiful. I mean, did we? Did you take a look at the weather today? No, that's on the list. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll it do is, that later. It is beautiful, Appleton, is it beautiful? Wisconsin. Okay. Yes. I'll take your word yes, for it. Yes, it is. About 40 minutes south of uh, Green Bay, maybe? Maybe? Yeah. How far north of Milwaukee? About an hour and a half. And how far is Madison? About an hour when and a half, I'm driving. I say. Oh, when you're driving? Uh, two and a half? <laughs> two, two hours? Two okay. and a half, yeah. Wait, okay, two and a half. Yeah, I like scenic. I can get there an hour I and I bet 15. you can. Let's yeah, not right. talk about that. Um, as long as there's no cops Corner of in Law and Pacific. Yes. In Appleton, Wisconsin. Yes. You have a guest today. A very Me special too. guest. Yes. Todd. I hear it's Todd. From Todd. what company? Todd. Yes. Todd. Yes, California. Todd. Accent. It's Todd, it's actually. Todd. Not it's Todd. Todd. It's Todd. Todd is here. Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Yes. Todd is from what company? From Crystal Bay Seafood Company. Oh, he's going to talk about fish then. He is, so, yes. Our, we, he's our fishmonger. Shall we get him on the show? We shall. Uh, we'll do that right now. I'll, I'll push the blue right, be right back. Yeah, once you push some buttons.
And we are back. Can you push that Todd button? Yeah, there we go, the Todd button. Yes, yes. Todd, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Luke? Oh, I'm excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks a lot for coming on the show. No worries. I think we have a lot of questions about seafood um, that I hope you can answer. Pretty much all of them, if not uh, just kind of BS your way through it. Yeah, on, sounds you're good. You're on BS TV. But, when considering you, you're my harshest critic with not liking seafood, yeah. I'm sure I should be able to do something on that. All right, let's start. Let's start by you telling me, trying to convince me to like seafood, or, or if I don't like seafood, what seafoods to start with? Yeah, so one thing with seafoods is most seafood is very high in protein. Sure. Uh, very healthy. It's a healthy option where you can bake. Um, you don't always, I know we're in the Midwest, everybody likes their Friday, right. fried fish, fish fry. fry yeah. uh, this, you can do some baking options. So not sure. only is it healthy, but it's a great source of protein. Okay. Um, today's world, the pricing is actually not too bad in the seafood world. Okay. So you can actually get a, a fairly inexpensive meal um, to go along with that. Okay. Uh, and you, I know about the only seafood that you care for is haddock, if yeah. that at best. Yes. Um, I and was, deep fried so it doesn't taste like haddock exactly right? exactly <laughs> what i recommend actually is going to something more of a milder fish okay. um, something that's a white uh, flaky type of style you okay. get like a halibut or chilean sea bass something okay. of that that i'll call it lacks the true fishiness taste Ooh, to it yeah um no, it no, has, you're speaking has, my language has here. a little substance so you know a lot of fish that you get uh, you know especially on friday can have um you know that fishiness taste that people sure. just don't like sure okay okay so I probably should have tried some Chilean sea bass last week. Yeah. And you didn't tell me to try it because I don't like seafood and I should maybe start with this. Well, maybe we'll try it again next week. We'll bring it in fresh for you <laughs> next week and it'll be a good option okay. for okay. you. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. That sounds good. Uh, this week we have uh, fresh monkfish. Can you tell us about monkfish? Yeah. So monkfish is kind of, it's very rare to find in okay. these parts. Okay. Uh, a lot of people everywhere else. Because they're really quiet? Yeah. Exactly. Like monks? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, okay. Very much like Luke. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, sure. what, yeah, so what it is, it's actually, um, a lot of people call it the poor man's lobster in Ooh, all other okay. parts of the world. It's a bottom-dwelling okay. fish. Okay. So instead of using fins to kind of go along the ocean, it actually has almost like legs that it kind of really? crawls uh, along the ocean. Okay. Um, it's uh, from the North Atlantic Ocean, so it's a colder water colder water fish. Okay. Um, what you'll find is the tails. Um, it's going to taste a lot like lobster. Okay. The texture is going to be like lobster. You cook it very similar to a lobster. Okay. And the price point is going to be a lot less than a lobster. Yeah, right. So I think a lot of people are really going to like this. Um, okay. Something different, probably what not many people have ever heard of. Right. But it will or be fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think a lot of people are probably minimizing uh, YouTube right now and Googling monkfish. Yes. They want to see what the what the legs look like yeah. and what they you know, and, what a monkfish actually. And if looks they see like. it, the face on it, it's just like a massive shark looking fish that's got all these tooth and how it came kind of like eric yeah oh, okay. similar similar uh the, the monkfish the other thing how it got its name is actually if you look at the picture of the fish with all the it talks about how it kind of looks like a monk's collar oh, okay. um, that's how it actually got the the word monk there's a, a an official name of which I can't pronounce and you can't spell, so we'll leave that for, for a different time and place. Um, but it must be longer than three letters. It is, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, um, so now actually that makes me want to go Google what a, what a monkfish actually yeah. looks like. Very ugly looking So it's typically fish. the tail? That is, that yeah. is sold? Yep, okay. it's typically the, the tail. You can either buy it as a whole tail or you can buy it as the fillets. Okay. Um, I recommend the fillets. That's what you're actually bringing okay. in this week. Okay. Um, yeah, it's don't recommend the tail then. Correct. You're going to get the fillets. It's really easy. It comes from the tail of the fish, okay. um, but it's very easy to cook. I you know, recommend just throw a little butter on top of it, just like okay. you're basting a lobster tail. Okay. And it'll eat just like a lobster. Without the shell? Without the shell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so can people um, grill it as well? They can. Okay. Yeah, the one thing I'll say with monkfish, you got to be careful. Uh, some people even do it in soups too. Okay. But you can overcook it. Okay. And if you overcook it, it doesn't fall apart. It just becomes real rubbery. Okay. Uh, real tough okay. type of fish. That's so maybe very why different. I don't like lobster because I must have had it incorrectly cooked. Could be. It was just rubbery and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we also have wild ahi tuna steaks. Yes. So are these kind of like those ones that you see on the on the the, the program? Uh, what is that? What is that tuna show? 
Uh, wicked tuna? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's very similar. Okay. Um, you know, they go out in the ocean, you know, catch the tuna, okay. um, different grades. They catch it? Yeah, they okay. do. Um, I know on the, the show, they show a lot of the, the hooking of the tuna as they sure. you know, kind of bring it in. Okay. Uh, tuna is, you know, uh, I call it a, it's a love it or hate it type of fish. Okay. Uh, for me, I love seafood. Tuna is not one of my favorites. I'm glad that you love seafood. Yeah, but I can tell you my wife and in-laws, they love uh, tuna. They do a lot of tuna, ta tuna tacos. Um, tuna tacos, of, yeah, okay. So something a little different to try. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a, a fish caught out of the ocean, wild caught. Sure, okay. Um, so yeah. do you are you the one not up on the dock and then you take the little cork out of there and then you pull it out and you give them a you give them a price yeah. and then you pass that along the exactly okay. Yeah. okay yeah depending Good. upon how big the fish was and how sure. long it took to catch sure. to catch yeah the price just goes up from there yeah right yeah. right okay okay uh, do you have a favorite seafood I do myself personally I love halibut halibut okay um, to me it's a very mild tasting fish okay. I like the texture of it sure. Um, you can have it plain, just a little bit of seasoning on it. Okay. Um, so that personally, that is my favorite fish to and, have. And where does halibut typically come from so in you the can, world? Yeah, I so um, there's either West Coast or East Coast halibut. Okay. You see here and see a lot of people go up to Canada. You see, you know, catching halibut there. And then there's some that's caught on the East Coast, which, which is kind of in the northern parts of um, when you get up to the northeast, your Boston North that gets oh, okay. into the Canada okay. uh, range. Okay. West Coast halibut is sometimes uh, preferred by others. Personally, I don't notice much of a difference in taste. Flavor, okay, yeah. okay, all right. Um, do you carry Great Lakes perch? If we can get our hands on it. It's, okay. So if anybody has gone to a local fish fry or, or anything, you'll see some perch plates can be very, very expensive. And if it, that's the case, it is the Great Lakes perch. Sure. Um, it's very difficult to catch now, just due to recent regulations, the amount of fish that are uh, available to be caught. Okay. Uh, and you know, so we can carry it, we can get it, it but it's very minimal. Okay. It's kind of like the old smoke chubs. Oh, sure. uh, everybody used to love them as a kid and everything, and now if you can find them, in what price are you willing to pay for right. them? Right, right, sure. And they typically come out of Lake Erie? They do. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. most of the fish come off of Lake Erie. Okay. Um, you'll get, sometimes they'll call Canadian perch. A lot of times those are still Lake Erie, just caught out of the Canadian Okay. Uh, okay, side. the Canadian are sometimes better than, better better catchers than, yeah. Yeah. than the yeah. Americans? Yeah. D depending which country you're from, they'll, okay. they'll rate which one is better. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, why does price seem to fluctuate so much on seafood? Yeah. I so mean, one week to the next, or even probably you see day to day. It is. So there's a wild swing. One thing that people don't realize, storms cause a big difference in weekly fresh fish pricing. Okay. So if I use the Northeast as an example, um, if you have huge storms, wind storms for a week, boats a lot of times can't make it out to um, out to sea yeah um, and then it's basic economic supply and demand right. where if you can't get it and they don't have it sure it, okay you're, if somebody okay. did find it okay. you're gonna pay for it okay gotcha. um, the, that makes the, sense. the other part is you know there's a lot of different you know when you're bringing stuff in from overseas a lot of I'll call it true seafood is not right out of the US sure. um, so with that you know there can be you know, tariffs, everything like that, that are involved that, okay. you know, rapidly change the price very sure. quickly. Sure, okay. Um, can you talk to us about, like, uh, like when when Lent comes around, typically people are people are very enthralled with, you know, is this farm raised, is this uh, wild caught, or sure. anything like that. Something that my dad taught me early on was that, you know, people are okay with buying farm raised beef, pork, and chicken that yep. we sell here, but all of a sudden they don't want farm-raised seafood. Sure. Can you can you kind of tell us about the misnomers about the about the farm-raised versus wild caught sure. and stuff like that? It's great to say wild caught, yeah. but then you say farm-raised and people are automatically turned off. So yeah. Can you I, I will. So one of the, I'll call I'll start with shrimp as okay. a prime example. Uh, shrimp you can have either wild caught. Uh, a lot of times it's called a Gulf shrimp. Sure. Um, or a farm-raised shrimp. The farm-raised shrimp is probably what a lot of us think of. There's I'll just call it a pond or something that's in the back of you know somewhere that 
you know the fish are fed or the shrimp are fed and sure. they're you know they're taken out of that right. from a farm raise um, but a misnomer a little bit on salmon is you may see farm raised salmon uh, of which you know a lot of times they're still actually in the ocean they're not in a pond they're just in big nets that could you know go out you know half a mile anyway sure so the tide will bring in the food and the waste of the fish you know in and out sure it's actually a very healthy um you know, not what you would think from a farm raised right. product from right. the salmon most of the salmon that's served at every store every restaurant is farm raised sure uh, not too often that you do uh, get wild salmon okay uh, that okay uh, that nature i i think and not knowing a ton about seafood that so, so we're from Wisconsin, we're not close to the ocean, sure. we're close to Lake Michigan, but we're not close to the ocean. Right. So when we see a farm, when we, when we think farm, yeah. what I was thinking when they were talking about farm-raised salmon and Chilean salmon and stuff like that was like the bogs down in the Dells, yes. or, uh, yep. or the, the Rapids area. Great example. You know, so I was thinking that these fish were raised in, in environments like that where it was totally controlled, yep. totally whatever, but you're saying that a lot of these, and most of them are raised in the ocean, in, in yeah. depends in the yeah, ocean. Yeah, from the like their natural environment. Yeah, the, the the shrimp, you know, a little bit different, where it's kind of what you're thinking of, you know, okay. the bog type thing. Sure. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it's it's a little bit different than what you and I and a lot of other people think sure. are farm raised. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Why are smoke chubs so hard to get and so costly now? Yeah, so if anybody remembers, I remember as a kid sitting down with my dad, you know, you'd buy a 10 pound box for basically $5, $10. Right, uh, at, the always, yeah. at the bar, at the bar. Always, right? always a can of beer on the yeah. side. It's a, great, yeah. it's, a, it's a great Wisconsin meal. Sure, um, <laughs> you know, type I don't of know thing. about the meal, but yeah. okay. Uh, but now, you know, they have become so difficult to get. You know, they come from Great Lakes as well. Uh, but they've been the harvesting and the regulations have really taken their toll on the amount of chubs that are, are available. Okay. And, and with that, it's kind of like uh, I'll call it the McDonald's McRib. Okay. Comes in once a year. Everybody loves it. Flocks to it. Sure. It's almost got like its own cult following now. Smoke sure. chubs. You don't see it very often. So when people see it, they just grab uh, it and, yeah. and they'll pay whatever price there is. Sure. Once again, going back to the supply and demand, right. when you don't see chubs in your, your hands to get it, I mean, they're gonna probably cost you $15, $16 a pound right. now. Um, that's just the going rate, but it is, sure. uh, a lot of it also is they're so small okay. um, that with the fishing that's uh, been good, been better, you know, they don't get a chance to grow into a true eatable chub right. um, and they slip through the net. Sure. So part of the reason why they're more difficult to get. And I, I think, I think it's just like the the whole perch thing. You know, the perch perch market went went sky high, yeah. and so people were looking for uh, alternatives. Right. You know, so they were getting uh, uh, sapanzas or what, yeah, what was that? A Euro, a European lake a Euro, perch. Yeah, a European Xander lake perch. perch. Xander, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Um, I think with the chubs, they were they were. I I've tried like Cisco. Yep. Is a is a. I, would, I don't want to say a comparable substitute because I've heard from multiple people right. that I that I sold them to or gave them yep. to to try. They were like, "That is not a yeah. smoke chub." They, they look similar in nature after they after you put them on, you know, in, in your smoke. in yep. your display and yep. go, "Oh, yeah, well, they look pretty close." Right. But yeah, when you go to taste them, they are completely right. different. Right. Right. So price point will tell you they're completely correct. different. Too. Correct. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so so you're from Crystal Bay Seafoods. I am. And. Can you tell us a little bit about the business? I mean, sure. when, when was it started? Sure. Who started it? Sure. So the business originated back in 1986. Okay. So two gentlemen, by one by the name of Jeff England, one by the name of Stephen Cole Ross. Okay. Um, so those two gentlemen started the business. Okay. Um, they started it out as a, kind of a, a meat pork with a little bit of seafood business. Sure. Um, and, you know, they have been, you know, since Stephen has retired from the business, um, I recently bought the company in 2021 okay. uh, with a couple brothers. Okay. Uh, so now the three of us own the business and Jeff, one of the former owners, has still stayed on um, and he's been uh, working with us for about three years now, which is cool. extremely helpful. Yeah. Um, he knows that. So yeah, it started in Green Bay. That's where we're still located. Okay. Went through a couple different locations just sure. because of, of growth. Sure. Um, but that's that's how we're so what, standing how did, here today. So how did you get involved in the business yeah, initially? So, so personally, myself, I have been in, I'll call it food distribution uh, for 25-ish years. Okay. Um, and so with that, 
got and traveled around the U.S., got to see a lot of different things, sure. and um, distribution was, you know, and if you look at me, food's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> uh, it was kind of a, a nice nice mesh that sure. came together. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with that, the, the opportunity arose um, roughly three-ish years ago. Okay. And awesome. that's why I'm that's standing awesome. in front of you today. That's awesome. So do you see a fluctuation with... Uh, with Lent and, and, and non-Lenten non season or? Sure, so Lent has a little pickup. I would say Lent isn't as popular as it used to be. Okay. Um, I'll call it, I was uh, raised Catholic grade school, uh, sure. Catholic family where you just did not eat Lent on Friday, uh, or eat meat, Fish. excuse yep. me, on, on Friday. Yep. Um, you're seeing less of that as you know the, the sure. new eras are coming. Sure. Um, there's definitely an uptick in it. Um, the biggest time, obviously, is the holidays, the Christmas sure. season. Yep. Um, but a lot of people are starting to find you know, some of the pricing um, as a nice pairing with a little bit of beef. You can do a little bit of seafood. Sure. If the cost is down now, right. um, it's a nice, you know, I'll call it Certain a healthy yeah, yeah. alternative throughout the year. Sure. And, and now that people are, grilling has really become big, obviously yeah. huge right. here. People are exploring a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so oh, let me try that on the grill. Let me try sure. that fish on the grill. Okay. I'm starting to find some different options, which which definitely helps. Okay. Awesome. D uh, do you like apples? I love apples. You love? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Um, is there anything that we didn't uh, didn't discuss that you'd like to bring yeah. up? The only thing I would say is one of the things, uh, and Luke does a good job of this, asking a lot of questions. People will ask, okay, well, why is my haddock loin? Because I know you sell a lot of them. Yeah. You know, why is it you know ten dollars a pound at Jacobs, and I could go down the street and pay seven dollars a pound for haddock loin? Sure. One of the things is it's called the moisture level that's in a haddock. So basically, it's the preservatives that they put on a on a fish. Gotcha. So Luke does a great job in your place of actually buying the better quality that doesn't have as much preservatives on it. So when you go to cook it, it doesn't fall apart or shrink in half. Right. So if you see a lot of fish that all of a sudden turns real watery and you had half the size, it's because you bought product that has more water base. But Very it was similar cheaper. to yeah, but it was cheaper. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the things is okay, you could have went and paid ten dollars a pound, but you paid eight dollars a pound. When right. it's all said and done, you ended up paying about thirteen dollars a pound right. because what you have left as a finished product. Sure. Uh, sure. In, in the meat similar to a ham, where you get right. the water based ham yeah. versus the true whole smoked ham. Right, right. Um, sure. So that's one thing I, I would say to the listeners that not every haddock loin is the same, even though sure. they say haddock loin yeah. on it. Yeah. I know scallops. Scallops is Same another thing. one as well. I I buy the just the dry scallops. Yep. Um, they don't have that chemical in it. So Correct. The number one ingredient is scallops. And yep. That's it. That's yeah. It. yeah. So. Same thing. You, you get yeah. the you spend five dollars more a pound on the dry scallops. Right. You end up with more finished product than sure. what you do with the cheaper. So sure. It's actually intu it doesn't sound uh, very intuitive, but you actually get more by spending more. Sure. Um, on sure. It. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that was it. Thank you very much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Perfect. Uh, Thank I, you. I, I, I love to use you as a source for all of my seafood um, questions and, and answers and stuff. So yeah. I really appreciate we, you coming by. We appreciate it as well. Yeah. All right, thanks Thank a you. lot, Luke. All right. We'll be right back. We do not have microphones. Now we, now we have microphones. That was now a fantastic. That yes. Was a, so, you're gonna try some I think seafood? I'll try, I think I'll try something. Yeah. You don't like seafood because it tastes fishy? Yes. You just don't like that. Correct. Do you like Correct. scallops? I've never, uh, I've never tried them. I don't think. They're my favorite. They are. Okay. And you are sell really good ones. No. Okay. They're not even fish. Are they scallops? Suppose they're fish. Are they seafoody? Well, what is seafood? When you put the bacon wrapper yeah. on them, that's yeah. it. that takes care of the right. problem. Right. But, uh, yeah, you need seafood once a week. So okay. figure out what you're going to eat. Okay. Figure out what you're going to eat. Seafood. I'll just uh, see it as I'm eating it.
See, it has your Yeah, you see food every day, don't you? I do. You see seafood yes, every day. Yes, I just looked at some. Uh, shall we continue? Shall I have we news. shall? I have news. Okay. Uh, uh, you wrote something down. We'll get to that in a minute. The first piece of news I have to report, uh, I suppose it's good news. There's a For new who? driver on the mean streets of Appleton, and it's a Jacobs, so that would make me nervous, but it's your daughter, Elizabeth. Yeah, so yeah, she doesn't drive driver. like me. Yeah, she doesn't she drive, doesn't like, drive like me. Uh, passed. She did. She's a licensed she driver. Eight, eight points off. So 100%. Good for her. Yes. Good yes. for her. Good for uh, us, too. She had a birthday, then she got a driver's license, and you'll never see her again. Right, probably not. Probably Unless she needs not. gas money or whatever. Uh, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, the, Mar the March 19th. Yes. Rena's birthday. Who's Rena? Rena's our cook. Rena's your cook. Yes, you she know her cooks, well. She cooks the, the lunches every day, doesn't she? She does, yes, yes. and the yes. soups. And, and the soups, and makes everything. Makes the dips. She cooks. She yes. Cooks. Happy birthday, Rena. Yes, happy is, birthday. Is this a birthday? That's not a birthday. That's not, what is no. it? Go for it. Uh, so my daughter, Emma, is going to uh, Appleton East, uh, just like Elizabeth as well. Um, they have an honors thing on Tuesday night that, I'm, that we're attending. So she's got really good grades. So, so they invite all of the families that have for a celebration, grade. or are they going to show off their intelligence? Is there a uh, debate? Just a celebration. Is there a quiz? Yeah, there's no... Is it a contest? There's no contest. No, no contest. No. no. Oh, just a celebration. Yes, uh, yes. Bright individuals. Correct. One of which is a Jacobs. Correct. Not a surprise. Not Intelligent individuals. You're invited? Uh, not <laughs> not because of my intelligence, but oh, just because, okay. because of my daughter. Because of your daughter. Congratulations, Emma. Yes, Emma. That, that's Tuesday. Yes. So, the Rena's birthday. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next week. On BSTV, where I'm just saying it's our 52nd uh, episode, which yes. is one year. But actually, this Friday is the, the 15th. The, the 15th of last year's March is when we did our first show. So right. It's you one year. That? I do. Hopefully, I do. you don't have any clips. I will by next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Is it? <laughs> BSTV episode Never number one. It. The week after that, BSTV 53 is when Jennifer from uh, Appleton downtown will be here. Correct. That'll be exciting. Yes. And the week after that, we have a guest too. Uh, that'll be April 3rd. April 3rd, BSTV yes. 54. It'll be Nikki of Chain Reaction Cyclery right here in Appleton. Ooh, That's yes. a small business. I just saw her today. Did you? Yeah. Where? She was nervous. Here. Oh, she came in, did she? Yeah, she did. She shops here. She I've does. seen her in here before. Yes. I see her most of the time when I'm doing something with my bicycle because that's where I take my bike. Correct. So that'll be fun. Yes. That'll be fun. Yes. Uh, uh, small business right here in Appleton. Uh, and then we're going to continue looking for small businesses, right? So yes. if you have a small business located here in Appleton or the Fox Cities. Right. And you are talk to this man. silly enough to <laughs> want to come on BSTV. Now is the time we look at the weather. I like what I see. You're on the fence? She's already said you like the weather. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That was a um, long look at the weather. Speaking of weather, I think I have single-handedly probably guaranteed we're going to get more snow. Snow? Okay. Because what did you do? I, I put my winter parka away for the season. Oh. And I guess it was a little early. Yeah. But it was so nice. And you did something yesterday morning. I went for a bike ride yesterday. Yes. Morning. Yeah. Because uh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed snow. Uh, speaking of weather. Yes. This Tuesday, the 19th, not only is it Rena's birthday and Emma's event for being bright, it's 10.06 uh, p.m. is the first moment of spring, really? astronomically speaking. 10.06 p.m., did you say? That's the equinox. Okay. So this, this Tuesday is spring already. Wow. Oh, I'm happy about that. Yes, I'm sure it looks like that. it out there. We're all the way to the Meat Market Mailer. Could you tell us what that is and how, how I might be able to get that? Maybe I got quickly. one this morning. Yeah, let's <laughs> Maybe do it quickly. Quick. Okay. Uh, right on our website, on the right-hand side, you can enter your email address in there and um, be entered we know into... This one. <laughs> I think he wants to be a guest. Maybe he can Give have my, my mic. microphone. Yeah, right. right. Maybe you and him should do it. Yeah, would well, you step aside, please? Sure. <laughs> I'm gladly. Meat Market Mailer. I've, told, I've been told that before. I yes, uh, on our website, just enter your email address, and then you will get an email um, Sundays? Sundays and, and Wednesdays. Wednesdays. I got one yes. this morning. You did? Yeah, Why, because today is Wednesday? Because today is Wednesday. Oh, with, with and your, our marketing with team is on Irish top of it. With your blessings, two of them. Yes. I like that. I like both that. of them. The both of them. You keep that up. Weekly specials. Uh, I have buttons for them. I think you covered some, but let's just run through them. But first. But first, a joke. Do you have a joke? You almost missed that part. I have about five. Yeah, so right. You oh, you start. do? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, since we just had the fish guy on, what... Oh, you got a what fish a, joke? 
Maybe. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Uh, what did the fish say? I know this one. Yeah, when he ran into the concrete. Damn. Yeah, I think everybody, everybody just yelled. I think I, yeah, everybody, everybody just yelled it at their What's computer. the best way to communicate with a fish? Mm. Drop a line? Drop it a line. Yes. Uh, First what do you known. call a fish with a bow tie? Mm, I'm not sure. Sophisticated. Oh, yeah. Uh, you knew yeah. that one. <laughs> um, I've heard of it. Do you know any other ones? I do. What, what, what do you call a girl that catches fish? Mm, I'm not sure. Annette. Annette, okay, Annette. yeah. That's all I got. Review the specials. That's it? I've got two more, but okay. they're not fish related. You want one? Uh, are they St. Patty's Day related? Uh, no. Then I don't want to hear Okay, them. let's go on. Specials, my first button says brisket. Brisket. Yes. That's a lot of brisket, by the Corn, way. Corn beef brisket special. Oh, that's they're very special. Much anticipated, yes. You read those prices out, and then Ten, I'll ask you questions. Uh, well, on, on top there, it's seven ninety nine a pound for the point, uh -huh. or the whole, and ten forty nine a pound for the flat. You probably told me this last year, but what's the probably. difference between a point and a flat? So this is a beef brisket. It's, it's oh, a corned beef it? brisket. Okay. So the brisket is made up of, <laughs> as many viewers know, and you're the only one that doesn't know, uh, there's a point and a flat to a brisket. So, so the point typically has like two muscles separated with a layer of fat, and then a flat is a is a more um, uniform thickness piece, which is the much more preferred section of oh, it. Oh, obviously for the pricing. Right, right. So yes, that's not, that supply. Why is demand. it preferred? Because it's more uniform and it th and it cooks a lot even cooks. more evenly. Oh, okay. Yes. But either of these are great prices, and I'm looking sure. at the briskets. Yes, right now. This and we is sell a lot, lot of brisket. Of corned beef brisket. Yes. I'm moving yes. on to something that says... Corned beef lunch meat? Corned beef lunch meat. It says... You don't yes. have to read my buttons. Just no, okay. read your script. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a script. Uh, yeah. Corned beef lunch meat is twelve ninety nine a pound if you want to make your own Reuben sandwich for St. Paddy's Day or if you just like Reuben's and you know that we only have this once a year. People stock up. twelve ninety nine a pound. Twelve ninety nine a pound. Yes. I might have to get some. You should I do order. like Rubens. Yeah. You sell a sauerkraut too. We do. You sell some good stuff. Yes. I've had it and before. Thousand Islands dressing and the Swiss cheese. Almost everything. And the you rye need. bread. And yeah. Everything. Yes. Everything I need. I'm we actually on. have them. Uh, I don't know if you're going going over this later or not, but we do have Rubens uh, for our lunch on Monday. Oh really? Really. This coming Monday. This coming Monday. Yes. Rubens are very the popular, aren't they? Yes. When you do lunches. Yes. I'm not sure I've ever been able to get one. On your uh, lunch. <laughs> so you I've it. so I've heard from multiple people that they do like a, a Reuben off where they where they get Rubens from this place and that place and our place and whatever and we have won multiple times. Multiple times. Okay, yes. so I know we're with all multiple Monday. people, not same people multiple times, just uh, well, I'll, multiple I'll people. I'll get one this Monday. I'll yes. make sure I get. You I'll should. go stand in the kitchen if I. Maybe have to. you could uh, just put your order in now. I'll put my order in now, yes. and then I'll let you know. Yes. What I because I I like Rubens. Yes. And I've had them in several locations. Except this location. Oh, okay. I'm moving on. Yes. Bangers. 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 Jacob's own oh. uh, Irish bangers. Irish Catholic bangers. Uh, it says it? Irish Catholic. I mean, I. Did you confuse people with that? I think so. Yeah, there's they're, Facebook they're, posts they're, all over the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. It gets attention. Sure. They're, they're Irish bangers. Yeah. And you said Irish, Irish Catholic. Catholic. Because, yeah. Just to be funny. Just to be funny, but it's you like to be only funny. funny to me, I guess. That's all right. That's all right. We can all laugh at you. Yeah. With you. Whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> yes. Anyway, what's the price on those? Uh, Five ninety nine a pound. They're about the size of a, a I was bratwurst. I just going to ask. Are you reading my mind? I, not fully. But what do they taste like? Uh, they taste like chicken. Oh, they're chicken. No. <laughs> they're a pork brat uh, with uh, uh, breadcrumbs garlic and oregano. They're delicious. So the difference between a pork brat and an Irish banger is? Is the seasoning, the, the garlic seasoning. garlic and oregano and uh, um, So it's bread a crumbs. juiced up pork yes. brat is what I Yes, mean. it's it, they're delicious. And we I've only make them. them once a year. I, I've not had yours, but I've had both. They're I've had Irish bangers. Yes, uh, bangers and mash is a, is yeah. a typical yeah. like Irish meal. So I'll have to pick up some of those along with yes. my... Yes. my Lunch meat. Yes. Brats. Speaking of brats, I've got a button that says brats. Yes, uh, Jacob's own corned beef and cabbage brats. Oh. Four ninety nine a pound. Now, how do you make these? Just like you regular. Oh, how do how yeah. do we produce them? How do you produce them? Uh, you so take we take the pork, the pork brat and we take the pork out uh -huh. and we put the corned beef and cabbage in there. In there. Grind it all up, put it in there, so and this then is like stuff a it in the case. Corned beef and cabbage meal. Yes, it's like St. Patrick's Day in your mouth. Yeah. 
celebration in your mouth? A celebration in your mouth. Customer was saying a celebration. Yes. 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 And I like that. Yeah, you should you should say that a to everybody. Celebration oh, you just in your did. mouth. Celebration in your mouth. That's a good way to get uh, get your celebrating done. Yes, it's very in your mouth? nicely packaged. Yes. Yeah, I mean, who wants to go to all the trouble of the corned beef and the cabbage where you could just eat up a broth? Well, and and that's that's why we initially came up with it because you know there's there's people that are that are single or or live alone or whatever, and they want to have a corned beef and cabbage meal there it is, right like there. they did in, in the past or whatever, yeah. and you know all they have to do is just get corned beef and cabbage brats and then just cook them up. So far, I'm getting like almost everything off your oh, yeah. this year. And what aren't you now, getting? I haven't decided on the, the brisket yet. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. But now my favorite item of all time. Uh, the ribeyes? The ribeyes. Yes. The ribeyes. Yes. We have uh, USDA Choice Boneless Ribeyes takes for Delicious. $14.99 a pound. Delicious. Yes. It's normally so, nineteen ninety nine a pound. Yeah, that's a great deal. Oh, I, yes. I, for, you're going to sell a lot of this. I you're, hope so, yes. You're going to sell Especially a lot of this. beautiful weather out there. What does the weather have to do with it? Grilling. Oh, I don't grill. Oh. I just cook it and eat it. Okay, so any, everybody any, else. Any day of the week is everybody fine for else. a ribeye. Yes. I don't need good weather. Monkfish. Right. You talked about yes. monkfish. We did. You talked at length about monkfish. We did. You talked about looking for pictures. I suggest you don't look for pictures of monkfish. No? If you want to eat it. Okay. They're not the prettiest fish in the world. Right. Everybody is now really going to go look. Do you, remember what, <laughs> do you remember what I said it kind of looked like? I, I was not listening to you. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Oh me, yes. Yes, yeah, me. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I think that that's caught what it was. my ear. Yeah. Uh, anyway, seven ninety nine pounds for the monkfish. Um, and look how so, fast it's going. Yes, because that was full. And while while you've been up here talking, it's just selling. Yes, selling. yes. Uh, again, he said it, it, it tastes like lobster. That's what he said. I didn't cook it like lobster. No, that well. I've never had monkfish. Right, I, I have never had monkfish. Probably not. No, right. I wouldn't have. But now, I, while of, you were talking, menu. I looked up pictures of monkfish. You did? Yeah. So don't? Don't look up pictures of monkfish. So everybody's ahi. going to. Okay. I got to. Ahi. Uh, wild ahi tuna steaks. They look fantastic. $17.99 a pound. Yes. That is. Oh, look at the deep that, red. That is what you see when you're having uh, sushi. Is it? Tuna sushi. Okay. Just cut it up and eat it. Sure. So that's not the yellowfin tuna. The yellowfin tuna is, is more pink, I believe. Yeah, this is and deep, this is deep dark red. Yes. Red. It's yes. Looks maroon. Gorgeous. Yes. And it is really a steak, isn't it? Yes. It just how came much, in. How much Both is that? Both of those. Uh, Seventeen ninety nine a pound. Fresh wild caught. Both of those fresh. Yes. Fresh wild caught. Yes. Oh, yeah, that'll that'll go too. Right it doesn't by the say front. wild caught. It just says wild. That's true. Well, it might have just had a wild life. Yeah. I, I'm, until it didn't. Until it didn't. Yes. Until it didn't. I'm moving on to the yes. walleye. Frozen bread eye, breaded walleye strips, so uh, eight ninety nine. You've had walleye. Yes. You don't care for walleye? Um, not as much. As the haddock? As the haddock, right. Or as a ribeye. <laughs> right. Yeah, or that. Um, as I like but these, walleye. This, this was the new product that we uh, debuted, I think it was last week or the week before. Okay. Um, and it, uh, like I said, Kevin took some home and put them in his air fryer, and he came back the next day and he wanted another bag for his freezer. Good, huh? He said they were delicious, yes. Uh, yes. About once a month you do a walleye dinner for lunch here. Yes. And I always get that. Because, yes. And I don't think before I came to Wisconsin I ever had a walleye. Oh, really? I don't think so. Okay. And it's probably my favorite of the fish that you serve for lunches. Okay. Because I never miss that. Sure. Somehow. Sure. We sell a lot of those. It's really good. It's yes. really good. Yes. And then you have tilapia. Frozen uh, tortilla crusted tilapia. Oh. Yes. So fry and eat. Right. Yeah. Right. You could fry it and eat it, or you can air fry it, or you could uh, uh, bake it in the oven. They're, de they're delicious. Yeah, Any way you I cook them. I do like tilapia. Yes. Have you had tilapia? I have had tilapia, and yes. don't care for it? Um, it's a little too fishy for it. Not as much. It. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to have to get you some scallops. Okay. Wrap them in bacon and see what you think. Okay. Because I think you'll like that. You like okay. bacon, right? I do love bacon, yeah, yes. And the bacon is a, your bacon is the best, of right. course, and it yes. has much stronger flavor than a scallop. Correct. So it will take away the scallop flavor, and you'll just be having. So let's flavor. just yeah, let's just yeah. have scallops that just, don't taste like anything. A, that's right. Oh, okay, that sounds great. You get all the benefits of the protein of the, and everything? Uh, of okay. the scallops without actually having to taste them. Yes. I'm going to turn off the. Look, does that say haddock? Haddock. I don't know how that worked. Oh look, Luke and Eric are back. It's a nice hat you got there. Well, thank you. You too. Well, it's from Aunt Sarah. I like those flags you Aunt put Sarah on gave top. it. You've decorated nicely for. Well, thank for, you. For. Uh, I was hoping St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Yes, yes. Speaking of special days. Yes. Today, Wednesday, March 13th, National Good Samaritan Day. 
Really? Yeah, so you're going to do something good for people? Someone? I, be I think good I'm Samaritan? just going to drive up and down the highway and look for people with flat tires. There you go. How long are you going to do it? I'm, <laughs> <Let> me, <I'll laughs> I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to look. <laughs> I'll take pictures. One. Yeah. You can call AAA for them. Yes. <laughs> like yes. borrow a phone. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, March 14th. It's also 14th. Grandma G's birthday today. Today? Yeah. Happy birthday, Grandma G. Grandma G. Who's Grandma Brady G? Duchene. June's mom. June's mom. Yes. Okay. Happy birthday. Today. Happy birthday today. Does she yes. watch? Uh, she does not. She does not. Okay. We can wish her happy, happy, happy birthday anyway. Happy birthday anyway, even if you don't watch. Tomorrow, March 14th, you know what that is? That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. It's Pi yes. Day. Pi Day. Pi. Yeah. Pi. 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 Why well, is that? You, uh, 314. 314. You, you're familiar with Pi, mean? right? Pi, yeah. Not the eating like, kind. Uh, the mathematical kind. Cool. Pi R squared. Go back to high school. Okay. <laughs> pi, remember I didn't pi? like it. Oh, didn't okay. like it then? 3.14. 314 is tomorrow, Pi Day. Okay. This Sunday, March, March 17th, 14th. is, okay. of course, National Corn, Beef, and Cabbage Day. It is. And St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Yeah, I like that. You like, like St. Patrick's Day, or you like that it's National yes. Corn, Beef, and Cabbage Day? Yes. Okay. Yes. Corn, Beef, and you Cabbage. You like corn, Beef, and Cabbage? I do. You do? Yes. And I'm going to try those brats. Okay. And of course, How I'm going to cook them. Uh, with heat. Oh, yeah. no kidding. Yeah. No, you're just going to breathe on them. Nah, also with solar heat. energy. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Tuesday the 19th is the first day of spring. Of course. We did a At contest last week. 10.06 p.m. 10.06 p.m. our time. Our uh, time, yes. So Central Standard you'll Time. You'll be sound asleep. And spring will spring. I doubt it. Spr spring will spring. No. Without was, me. <laughs> what whatever. was the giveaway yes. last week? Was it, what was the prize? Hot nuts. Hot nuts. Oh, hot how nuts. could I forget? I have comments. How could I forget about the hot nuts? You couldn't. That's why you just remembered. Right. Sharon said, good luck, Elizabeth. Willie wants some hot nuts. I thought you were calling my Maybe he's got them. Yeah. Come on over Alrighty. here, Willie. Maybe. Why don't you ask him? That's all right. Okay. We don't know what he's purchasing. Inquire, inquiring minds want to know. Good luck, Elizabeth, is what Sharon had to say. Yes. Rudy said, good luck and happy birthday to your daughter, Elizabeth. The hot nuts was very humorous. Karen said, oh, hot nuts. They were. Hot nuts for my three slash eight birthday. Now, is this her 38th or her three, three eighths. eighths of a birthday? Three eighths or of a three birthday. eighths into the year for her? I don't know, but happy birthday, Karen. Uh, Maxi Blue Gremlin just said, Luke, with six exclamation points. Yes. Are you familiar with Maxi Blue Gremlin? <laughs> Not by that name, probably. Not by that name. Lindale said good luck Maybe with her Max. test. Do you think it would be Max? I doubt that. Oh. No, He'd I'm going to say no. Okay. Good luck with her test. My birthday was February 5th. Jacob's rules in my book. Uh, really? Obviously. Obviously. Oh, well, yes. And the Thank winner, you, the winner of the hot nuts is Helen, who whose comment was too hot. Too hot. So Helen, come on down <laughs> and Luke will be sure that you get your hot nuts. Just keep wheezing there. Okay. Keep wheezing. <laughs> we're going to do another. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a, a yes, good one this absolutely, one. Absolutely, yeah. yes. First, Howdy. what's the prize? I'm not sure. What is the prize? It's a year's supply of something. Oh, a year's supply of uh, El Francis caramels. A year's supply? Oh, yes. Now, I can eat a lot of caramels. You can. Or caramels. Okay. <laughs> Either way. It's not a caramel uh, eating contest. Or, or it's not. It's, no. What, it, no. What, what it's constitutes a caramel a, a day. Year, a caramel a day. A caramel a day. Yeah. So Keeps 365 caramels. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, are they given to you all at once? or are No. They, you have to come in every single day. Every, every day. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that. Yeah, it's worth it. It's yeah. Worth oh it. yeah. Oh yeah. Just make make sure you're not here. I think if you win, it would probably be easier to <sighs> hand out the prize. Oh, would it? Yeah. Okay. So well, I hope make you're sure that uh, gonna win. Uh, how do people enter? Because this is our anniversary. Right. And it's St. Patrick's Day. Correct. So there was a rumor about perhaps uh, asking people to uh, right. be creative and yes. come yes. up with a limerick. About Limerick. Jacob's Meat Market or a product or Luke himself? No, uh, nah, maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll do a limerick about it. Yes. Well, maybe that one's already done. It probably is. Uh, so is that what we want to go with? Yes. So yes. comment here below this video, whether you're watching in YouTube or in Facebook, with some limerick about Jacob's Meat Market. Or poem if you don't know a what poem limerick is. Or, yeah. or, or something creative. Yes. And 
This is for a year's supply of caramels. Yes. Dale Francis, the king of caramels, was on yes, the show not too long ago. Yes. Did a great job too. And yes. the caramels, caramels are, are exceptionally they good. Are they are yes. exceptionally good. Yes. Uh, and I have to right already now. start thinking about a limerick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that I can share. It has to be shareable. You, yeah, well, even even if it's not shareable, those are good too. Those are good too. Yeah, yes. okay. So I'm going to be able to read it on BSTV here. I'll read we'll... anything you put in the comments. Oh, that's really? It's not my fault. Okay, because you can quote it, right? I can quote it. Uh, and that is, I believe, all I have, but you still have lines to read. Oh, yes, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of BS TV. We will be back again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. with another live broadcast. Um, please like this video uh, by clicking that green or the blue the, the blue thumbs, thumbs up. up. Wherever the you find up. a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Come visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific in Appleton, Wisconsin, where we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Oh, a year that's later, you're, you're, you're getting pretty good at that. It's, it's getting yeah. there, yes. You should maybe do uh, pictures instead. Pictures instead. Have a great week. <laughs>